most people are looking for a destiny that has no warfare. And there's no destiny without a warfare. A great destiny. You must conquer. That land that God has given you spiritually. Spiritually, there are forces occupying it. It's not like it's free that you are taking a stroll. Yeah, no, my destiny is great. I, I want to. It's not, it's not, the thing is not empty. Are you going to say? You have to dislodge some powers. Jerome chapter 2, verse 24. He said, I've given the land to you. He said, But you have here on the Amorite or the king of Heshbon. He said, Contend with them. All these ites and all the Hittites, and they were in that land and they were giants. But these guys didn't see giants, they saw grasshoppers. That was the state of their mind. They saw differently. And when they came back, the turn says, we are dead. So I say, we are alive. You want to say, we are dead, they died. Only two minutes from that generation. There are forces that don't want to see you fulfill destiny. And they are, they are taking a vow. You know, some men say they will not eat until they keep up. There are people that have taken a vow that you are not going to enter your Canaan. But I don't know if you are also taking a vow that you will enter. 